Hi guys, it's Kate from the Nail Team. Today I'm going to show you a basic one stroke flower. I've already pre-painted my display tip using my Crystal Nails One Move paints. Um, and then I've watered down some of the colour that I'm using for my inner petal. Um, and I'm just doing a slight outline of the circle of where I want my main focus flower to be. Once I've done that, I'm going to dip it my two colours, one on either side of my brush, blend onto my hand to get the blend of the paint right and I'm using a tapping motion to tap them petals in to place. I'm just tap, tapping all the way around until I've achieved five petals. Once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to put a second element in and I'm going to bring in some little petals coming off the main focus flower. I haven't needed to reload my brush yet because I've got enough paint on there but if you do feel it's sort of drying out guys you need to just dip back into your two paints, blend again and use some more, go back over that, that area that you need to do. Once, once that's dried for a few seconds I'm going to go back over the whole design again. I've dipped back into my two colours, I've blended onto my hand and I'm just tapping them petals round, getting a nice blend between the two paints so you can see the depth of the inner flower, the depths of the petal. I'll then go over my little petals coming off again so we've got the same sort of look all the way around. I'm just using tapping, just slight tapping and pulling at the same time with the brush gives it much of a, more of, of a flow to each petal. Once I've done that, I'm going to clean my brush off, get rid of all of that paint and I'm going to dip into some white and some green. I'm going to use the green f for my leaves but the green is going to be in on the inner side of the brush and I'm going to use a technique where I actually tap three lines of that paint to create a leaf. So there's my first line as a triangle. I'm fitting it into the gap of the petal so it looks like it's joined onto the actual flowers in the petal. And that's my first leaf. I'm going to add a little bit more detail and put a half leaves in. Once again I do with my focal line, my point, and bring the brush out and round at the same time. I'm just blending them colours again on my hand and figuring out where I'm going to put my next leaf. Bring it right out so it meets them little lines either side. I'm just going to add my third half leaf and just bring it out and pull it and whilst tapping all the time. Once I've let, let this paint dry, it only takes, a, you know, it doesn't take too long, it takes a few seconds to dry. I'm going to use my Crystal Nails Barbara 2 brush. Um, this is the detailing brush. I've gone into my a deeper colour. I've mixed a little bit of my inner colour petals and maybe a bit of green in there. I've watered this paint down and it's just to highlight round some of the petals just to make it look a bit more, a bit more depth in there a little bit more prettier and they'll stand out and really pop once we apply the top coat. So I'm just using very light brush, brush strokes, like the very tip of the barber brush, there's a very fine hair and that is the brush, the, the, the hair that I need to use. So I'm literally just wiggling, wiggling, no straight lines, not pressing hard, just adding that detail into the petals, the leaves and very, very thin lines and swirls. I'm just reloading my brush. Once again it's in watered paint, watered down paint. You don't want to use the, 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 the consistency that it comes out with. It's going to be too thick, too bulky and you, it's just not going to have the same effect. You need to really water it down. So once I'm happy that I've got detail on my leaves. I've gone around my petals. I'm then going to clean my brush and I'm just going to um, add some detail at the bottom area, some sort of lace effect. Very, very quick 
I'm not pressing too hard. I'm literally only just touching that nail tip. I'm just going to bring my lines in and add a bit of a lace effect, join them up. Looks a bit like garden fencing. <laughs> and once I've done that, I'm now going to add some little veins into my um, flowers. Just three little veins in each petal really makes it stand out and pop out. Add some little dots, add some detail, and you can see the design is coming together quite nicely. Um, once I'm happy with that, I'm going to add the inside of my petals. I'm still using my Barber 2 brush, but you can use a dotting tool if you don't feel that you're going to get the, the dots correct with a brush. I'm just using some white, and I'm simply just dotting on as fast as I can into place the little insides of the petal. Do a few details up on my leaves, just so it adds to the effect. Oh, and then once I'm happy and I know it's all dried, I'm then going to apply my Flexi Top Gel from Perfect Nails. If you're going to do this straight onto an acrylic nail, you need to make sure that you've buffed that nail nice and smooth, there's no dust, and apply straight onto your acrylic. To cure your top coat, you need to apply two layers of top coat um, just to cure that flower. I've hoped you like my video, guys. Thanks.